Hello and welcome to Money Life. This is Sucheta Dilal. This week we're going to discuss something completely different. I think many of you who are on social media would have seen a video which warned you against free downloads of the Kashmir Files movie. Now, as you know the movie is being making news. This is not about Kashmir Files, okay? This is about cyber crime and how you can get fooled. So, basically this was a lovely video which warned you not to go for free downloads of the Kashmir Files movie because it said that it could take away all the money from your account by seizing your device whatever it was whether it was a phone or your computer so actually before we go on i would like you to see this video we're going to play it for you out here mujhe ab exactly pata ki hua kya hai main tujhe starting se batati hu मुझे किसी अननोन नंबर ने एक ग्रुप में ऐड किया था जिसमें फिल्म्स के लिंक शेयर हो रहे थे तो द कश्मीर फाइल्स का लिंक देखकर मैंने जैसे ही उस पर क्लिक किया फिल्म तो डाउनलोड नहीं हुई बट मेरे अकाउंट से सारे पैसे विड्रॉ हो गए व्हाट? पर तुझे ये कैसे पता कि उसी लिंक को क्लिक करने से तेरे अकाउंट से पैसे गायब हुए हैं मैंने थोड़ा ट्राई किया पता करने का तो मुझे पता चला कि कुछ लोग हैं जो ऐसे लिंक शेयर करते हैं और जब आप उन लिंक्स पर क्लिक करो तो आपका फ़ोन हैक हो जाता है और वो आपके बैंक अकाउंट को एक्सेस करके सारे पैसे विड्रॉ कर लेते हैं ओ माई गॉड हाँ यार तुझे पता है ऋतिका अभी थोड़ी देर पहले ही किसी अननोन नंबर ने मुझे किसी व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में ऐड किया है और उसमें भी सेम फिल्म्स के लिंक्स आ रहे हैं क्या तूने किसी लिंक पर क्लिक तो नहीं किया ना नो no. उससे पहले ही तेरा कॉल आ गया मेरे पास थैंक गॉड थैंक्स टू यू ऋतिका तूने मुझे सही टाइम पर कॉल कर दिया यार अच्छा तू चिंता मत कर एक काम कर मुझे 20 मिनट बाद ना साकेत पुलिस स्टेशन के पास मिल हम लोग जाते हैं और वहाँ पर कंप्लेन फाइल करते हैं एंड आई एम श्योर कि ये हैकर्स पकड़े जाएंगे ठीक है आई जस्ट होप यार चल तू जल्दी से निकल जा मैं भी आ रही हूँ हाँ मैं बस इस व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में एक बार एक वॉइस नोट भेज देती हूँ जिससे बाकी लोग भी इस कैम्प से बच पाएँ राइट जितने ज़्यादा लोग अवेयर होंगे उतना अच्छा होगा ठीक है मैं तुझे जल्दी मिलती हूँ अनबिलीवेबल गाइस प्लीज इस ग्रुप के किसी भी लिंक को ओपन मत करना अगर आपने क्लिक किया तो आपका फोन हैक हो जाएगा और आपके अकाउंट के सारे पैसे उठ जाएंगे अभी अभी मेरी फ्रेंड के साथ भी यही हुआ था सो so, प्लीज किसी भी लिंक को क्लिक मत करना प्लीज So what you see? There's a girl who gets a message on WhatsApp, which offers she's added to a group. She's offered a free download. Up there is the movie Kashmir Files, just been released. It's been talked about by everybody, promoted by the government. It's made tax-free. So naturally, if you haven't seen it, you're tempted to click or to forward it to your friends who haven't seen it. Now, as we know in the movie industry, piracy is rampant. It we indians have no respect for intellectual property so whether it's books or it is movies there is so much of piracy and we seem to take pride in forwarding it to people and kill the commercial interest of people who spend a lot of money making this movie now what this video does very smartly is to tell you yes it's a new movie don't be tempted to click because the other girl in the video has lost all her money got us thinking You know that we run Money Life Foundation. We are constantly warning people about watching out for this. This is the kind of work that we do at Money Life. So I was curious to know how does this happen? How can you click on a link and have money disappearing from your account? Our banking system is not so weak. On the other hand, you had the police from all over the country, from Haryana to Hyderabad or Telangana, retweeting this video and warning people to be careful. So I looked at it. put out my own message on twitter ask people have you been a victim of this i noticed also that the entire media had relayed this and carried articles they were very specific specific about a 30 lakh loss looked at that very closely also and discovered that the police officer who's quoted in those uh, news articles is not really saying that the kashmir files download scam actually lost people money so he says yes there is cyber crime 
you should be very careful on clicking on links. On the other hand, he says there have been recent complaints about cybercrime which has led to losses to people. So no link, but it's all over the place being promoted and tweeted by the police and by the entire media without cross-checking anything. Now, let's understand cybercrime. Like I said, we keep talking about it. It works on two factors. One is fear and the other is greed. So fear factor is to tell you your account is blocked or your credit card is blocked or that you've been watching porn, you will have to pay a penalty and you've got to know that you've been watching it. Wonderful ways of frightening people. Those who are not very digitally savvy get scared and click on the link instead of being careful. There are victims every single day on the fear factor which is that you plant malware and you will access the person's computer, get details, get their KYC, find other ways to reach your bank account or your credit card. Now, the far more successful scam is the one which plays on greed, offer freebies, job scams, uh, free pizzas, free coupons, you know, free downloads of this movie, anything all kinds of dubious tricks we indians want things free if it is possible to get them you know liquor delivery has been catching people false helicopter bookings people don't even bother to check which site they're going to in fact like i said they're victims every day the fraud is so rampant that there is a website called the 420.in which actually is devoted to warning people you know explaining fakes I didn't find the scam over there either. So, like I said, the Kashmir Files video is a new one because it's a warning to prevent people from downloading and there is no real scam. But it works effectively. I like the idea. I wish we had thought about it. But God gets me thinking about what about real cybercrime? If the police are jumping at this with such alacrity, issuing warnings, the media is writing about it, if they did the same thing to real cybercrime, think about how much safer the country would be. Now, who induced the police to do this? Remember, you look at this tweet over here, it's showing it to you. It actually has a hashtag with the name of the creator. So my point is that you can be manipulated into anything, into believing that there is a scam that there isn't and ignoring scams where there are real scams. And this is what I want to focus on in this video blog. That Popular movies and television serials are, yes, indeed attacked by cyber criminals. But when you click on the link, they plant malware. Now, let's not get so paranoid that clicking on it can empty your bank account. You need to have an OTP. You need to give a password. Our banking and financial system is a little safer than this. One link doesn't make a difference. But you have to be careful about what you click on, there may be other issues, your computer can be frozen, there could be ransom calls, but this is not that one. On the other hand, I want to talk a little bit about what are cyber crimes and what is being ignored by the same police enforcement, DRI and what have you, whose job it is to track it. Public awareness is welcome and we need to check what is the modus operandi of real Ponzi and pyramid schemes which actually beggar you. So what happens like all Ponzi schemes it's all turned online. So it could be trading, it could be games, it could be work from home. You'll receive WhatsApp messages promising you the earth. Initially it works. So they snare you in with a small amount, 300 rupee deposit, 400 rupee deposit, you're tempted and you get into it. You actually get returns, then you put in more and more money. Now somebody, Ashish I call him, I've changed the name, lost 2 lakhs. He's tech savvy, so he decided that he lost 2 lakhs to a work from home job scam. He wanted to conduct his personal investigation and see where it goes. So he tried to trap the people, he registered again. He tracked them through various WhatsApps. He discovered two things. One is that these people who were running the scam while they used Indian phones and Indian WhatsApp, they weren't even from India. In fact, they were using Google Translate with all the mistakes that it generates and he figured out that they come from Hong Kong or China. They were communicating him with him on Indian WhatsApp numbers which he thinks were either hacked or misused. There are people willing to let their phones be misused by a lot of people, let their bank accounts be misused 
as a routing device. These are called money mules. Okay. Now, an Indian number can give you access to potential victims, can give you lists, you can create WhatsApps, you can buy lists today online. It's so easy. But transferring money outside India needs a more organized effort. It can't be done without a whole bunch of investigators sleeping on their job. So what happens here is money is collected, maybe with UPI IDs. They require bank accounts. Now these bank accounts initially may be individuals, money mules I call them. So if I'm a money mule, I say, okay, use my bank account. Money is rooted. So I get money. I'm told to transfer it and I get a fee for it. So that, that makes me a money mule. There are a lot of people who are desperate for money, who are quite happy to do it without understanding the criminal consequences of their action. They're innocent, foolish. But this money doesn't remain there. It gets transferred almost immediately to a bunch of shell companies and from those shell companies further consolidated and then transferred over overseas. Now, Ashish, who is tech savvy, found bunch of shell companies, he has named them, he's uploaded his story. If you want to open a bank account today and you're not an, even for an individual, it takes two, three weeks, but if you're a company, it takes four to six weeks to open an account because know your customer documentation is so onerous. You need articles of association, you need it self-attested. Anybody running a genuine business knows that opening a bank account today has become a nightmare thanks to the Ministry of Finance apparently trying to clamp down on money laundering. And yet, if you look at the number of influencers, and I've gone and looked at it while I was researching this, hundreds and hundreds of videos which are ensnaring people, smart talking, glib people saying you can make so much of money. It's all out there in the public domain, doesn't need any financial expertise or cyber crime or technology expertise to be able to look at them. They're staring at you broad as daylight. So the same Ministry of Finance, which makes life so nightmarish for us on know your customer rules, will not go and look at where the real money laundering is happening. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs apparently closing down shell companies, but these companies are being set up and closed down with impunity. They're not just hundreds, they're in tens of thousands. Because the amount of money lost to a scam like this is not small. It's in thousands and thousands of crores. The Enforcement Directorate, Hyperactive these days, Department of Revenue Intelligence. Are they not seeing all this? And the police who are tweeting this non-scam on Kashmir files. Like I said, I'm all for people being scared of from pri piracy. But barring the Telangana police, which did most of its work under Director General V.C. Sajjanar, I have rarely seen the police except sporadic, occasional uh, people that they catch and they display there are media reports. The scam is thousands and thousands of times bigger. It's all over the place. There are people from abroad. Money is being sent overseas and nobody bothers. So nobody is really serious about this, which is a loot, which is taking money out of India. It's also looting money within India, easy to catch as you can see. A smart trick prevents piracy, but we need smarter investigative agencies or less collusive ones to get after real cyber crime, which is really beggaring people, especially at a time when post-COVID there are no jobs and people are so desperate. If you agree with what I say, let's give this as much currency as that video which you saw earlier on, because this is more important than that anti-piracy video. You agree? If you do, please share and subscribe to Money Life News Bites. Thank you. Thank you.